Welcome to Silo. Silo is a 3D modeling program. If you're new to 3D or maybe just to Silo, you'll need to know a few things to make your way around. We'll cover viewing, selecting, and manipulating objects in this initial video. Let's start by selecting Create from the top menu and creating a basic object. Within Silo, I have several to choose from, and for now, I'll go with a custom primitive base bust. To work with my 3D object, I need to know how to look at it from all angles. Within Silo, I'm able to zoom, rotate, and pan the window I'm using to view the object. These can all be accomplished with the mouse and the Alt key. To rotate, hold down the Alt key and the left mouse button, then move the mouse in the direction you'd like the view to move. To zoom, hold down the Alt key and the right mouse button. Move the mouse down or left to zoom out, and up or right to zoom in. To pan, hold down the Alt key and press the scroll wheel or center mouse button, then move the mouse in any direction. Keep in mind that this is only rotating what you see. It's not actually rotating the object. That comes in part 3. It's also important to note that these commands are all customizable. As you get more comfortable with the program, you can assign your favorite commands to the keyboard and mouse actions that are the most comfortable for you. Within Silo, any object you create is made of various polygons. In order to provide for maximum flexibility in manipulating these polygons, Silo has five different selection modes. I can select faces, edges, vertices, I can select the entire object, or I can choose the element on the fly with the multi-select mode. These selection modes are all available on the bottom of your screen and are also on the A row of the keyboard. Now that you know how to view and select the object, you can begin to manipulate. There are three main ways to manipulate selections. Move, which pulls a selection in any direction. Rotate, which rotates a selection around the manipulator's position. And scale, which increases or decreases the size of a selection. There's also a multi-use tool that allows me to pick the mode on the fly. As you may have noticed, each mode has a manipulator with different handles. The outer handles allow me to manipulate the selection in a particular direction. The center handle allows for more freeform movement. As with the selection modes, the manipulation modes are available at the bottom of your screen and are also on the Q row of the keyboard. Getting comfortable with the keyboard shortcuts is a key to the efficient workflow many artists are able to achieve with Silo. That concludes our Getting Started Silo tutorial. Thanks for trying Silo, and please visit our website for more video tutorials and help.